It is day 30 of this eight week video trainer, including today, we only have four more of these chest and shoulder workouts. Four more workouts to completely change the shape of our chest, develop it and our delts. Again, we will be applying the DTP Extreme. We will be targeting both our fast twitch and our slow twitch muscle fibers through heavy explosive uh, reps and keeping it intense the entire time. As soon as we've done chest, we immediately go on to delts and make sure that we have enough rest in between the two body parts to mentally prepare ourselves and physically prepare ourselves so we give every body part its, its due. It's our primary focus. So let's get into it. Make sure that you are mentally focused and primed. You're not distracted. You're not talking to anybody. Put the headphones on if need be. Get in quality and get out and recover. weight for me which was 85 pounds that allowed me to reach failure around 30 31 repetitions once i finished the 30 rep repetitions or 31 i rested for 31 seconds dropped it down to a weight that allowed me to reach failure at 20 repetitions and then i rested for 20 seconds and then did another 10 repetitions with that same weight now i'm going to rest for a couple of minutes allow my energy reserves to recover and then we're gonna go back down, starting off with the heaviest weight of around 10 repetitions. Then I'll rest for 10 seconds, drop the weight and do 20, and then finish off with 30. So we're doing like 60 reps. The drop set. Fuck, this is gonna be heavy. So Nick Holt is going to give me a hand here. If you remember last week, I, my elbow felt a little bit dodgy. I've had some PNF, so I really want to protect that. I don't want to encounter any injuries. So if you feel the same when you're picking up a weight, it feels a bit dodgy. When you're performing it, it's fine. But picking it up, then ask somebody as kind as Nick to pass you the weight. Ooh. <laughs> So that is upper chest done. Now you'll notice I'm wearing elbow straps here as well. I want to protect my elbows. I want to be very careful with that. My elbows are fine, touch wood. As long as I do warm up and protect them, you'll notice when it came to the warm up as well, I was doing rotator cuff movements just to make sure that I warmed up my shoulders, my rotator cuffs, and that I had good blood flow going through the connective tissue. And now I'm working the lower chest by going to decline and again in a pressing movement and we'll be utilizing the same theme as before, the DTP Extreme, starting off with 30 repetitions, resting 20, rest 10 repetitions, before we have a couple of minutes rest before going back up again. So let's get into this now, had enough rest, keep it intense. Ah.
All right. Lower chest done. Same theme as before. Chose a weight that allowed failure at 30 repetitions to begin with. Then I went to uh, 20 repetitions after I had my 30 second rest, then to 10 rep uh, repetitions to finish with. And uh, then I went down, back down the weight, starting off with 110s, 10 reps to absolute failure. Then once I rested for 11 seconds, 20, rest for 20 seconds and did 30. And you'll notice that I did implement the rest pause. I had no choice. I was reaching failure before my uh, guided rep range. All right, so now we've done that. I'm gonna go and move over to the middle portion of the pecs. All right, third and final exercise. I'm uh, lying down in a weird predicament here on the floor, using what is usually used as a shrug machine, a hammer strength shrug machine, but I'm using it as a press. Now, of course, if you don't have one of these in your gym, you can just do flat dumbbell press. You can do a flat machine press. That's absolutely fine. I'm just using this because it's here and I would like to take advantage of it because I feel that I get a lot of tension at the top of this movement as opposed to a lot of stress and load at the bottom range of the motion and i'd like to get that full contraction i'm going to do 30 repetitions with this weight and then i'm going to increase the weight after 30 seconds and hit around 20 and then i'll use that same weight again to rep out my 10 repetitions before resting and going back down so i'm going to get straight into this because i want to get this over and done with is done. So you'll notice on all the pressing movements that I'm doing today, I don't lock out. I don't lock out for a reason because I feel that if I lock out, it puts a lot of stress onto my elbows. Some people think, oh, it's easier doing a shorter range of motion. Try it. You see if that time under tension without any relaxation placed upon the triceps or elbows or shoulders is easier for you. I don't think I have to explain the rep range here. It's exactly the same as everything else. However, I did rest pause a little bit towards the end just to get the repetitions out. And I feel like I've just got a massive pump now, huge pump. So shoulders now, let's get it done. I started off with a weight that allowed me to reach failure at 30 repetitions to begin with, but then I was feeling a little bit confident, so I thought, 20 reps, I think I could go up in weight after a 30 second rest. So I went up in weight, but it was probably a little too heavy. 
and I just rest paused my ass out until I got 20 repetitions. And then I kept the same weight, kept the same weight to get out the 10 repetitions. After about a minute's rest, I uh, picked up the same weight, went a little bit slower, a little bit stricter, and did 10 repetitions. Then I dropped the weight down to the 25s to get the 20 repetitions after that 10 second rest. And then after the 20 seconds rest, I went down to these little babbies, these little 10 pounds. And I tell you what, to begin with, I thought, man, this is gonna be too light. Uh, but then when I got to like rep 16, 17, it, no, it, I was burning, I'm really pumped. All right, so let's go on to uh, rear delts now. That's normally a weakness for a lot of people, so let's make sure that we prioritize that before going on to the outer delt. especially the repetitions going back down. When I selected the weights, obviously that allowed me to reach failure at 30, then 20, then 10. I had my palms facing behind me. Now I find that you will be a little bit stronger doing it this way because you do get slight incorporation from your rhomboids. However, because your rear delts are pre-fatigued from doing it the previous uh, method, man, it burns and hurts so much. But making sure that you have plenty of citrulline and carnosine in your system, it just keeps you very full, which is good because that's how we know that we're gonna get a better muscle contraction. Okay, so we've done rear, we've done side, sorry, we've done front, we've done rear, now we've gotta finish with sides. Let's see how that feels. Yeah. shoulders so it's three exercises for chest and three exercises for delts that is plenty and I'm sure you'll agree so we did the same same sort of uh, thing with the side raises making sure that the arms are out erect take it out to the side don't bring the weight up bring it out to the side and when it comes to the lighter repetitions don't come all the way down make it harder on yourself you'll notice I was stopping there so I shortened the range of motion so I had constant tension placed upon the delts and I'm really trying to get that pump there and the way that you know if you have really reached failure is try to pick your nose. If you can pick it, you need to do another set. All right, let's wrap it up. I need to have my re cage because I've got cardio right now before I hit the day. All right, that is the end of day 30, chest and shoulders. One thing that I want to bring up because a lot of people say, hey, maybe I should train chest three times a week, believe me, if you are putting everything that you should be into these workouts, once a week is enough. I don't like to use the term overtraining, but you can be undernourished. We always think heavy weight, training hard, intensity, the amount of food, it shouldn't be like that. It should be the quality of food that you're putting in, the quality of supplements that you're taking in, the recovery that you are focusing on more than anything. If you do your job in here, 
and really focus on your job outside on relaxing and recovering, you'll get all the results that you've come here for. Tomorrow we've got arms, we're hitting guns, baby. Biceps and triceps, antagonistic muscle groups back to back. Uh, but I'm gonna head on over and do some active meditation a little bit later. I'm gonna go to Quinn's Pond here and do a bit of paddle boarding just to really lower my cortisol levels a little bit more. I had a good night's sleep last night, so I know I'm feeling a little bit better and refreshed now. And I wanna continue that progress of recovery by um, getting some uh, paddle boarding in. All right, catch you later.